Hi guys, welcome to the next video. So apologies, it's been a bit more than a week than I from my last video, but as you can tell from the title of the video, um, I have been diagnosed um, with something that has been um, an issue to try to diagnose for a long time. Um, so if you've noticed in my previous videos, my hair has never been down, it's never been um, kind of curled or straightened like it used to be, um, because I've been, what we thought it was, was extreme migraine. So things like even brushing my hair or cleansing my face was extremely um, difficult on one side of my face. Um, and I've since been diagnosed with um, vestibular migraine syndrome and photophobia. So the vestibular means that it's the vessel side. So it's kind of near the blood vessels and it's quite, um, it can be inflamed. So as well as like a pain you would get with an eye, it's kind of that kind of thumping pain as well as the normal pain. And then photophobia is something that has been more frequent in the last six weeks. So what photophobia is, and maybe some of you have heard of it before, if you haven't, it's extreme sensitivity to light, to noise, to sounds, everyday sounds, traffic, things like that. And also extreme <laughs> reactions to um, voice levels. So um, even somebody talking, and I know this sounds really unusual, um, for me, can actually feel like it's a microphone um, and they're in my ear. Um, and I'm thankful to be diagnosed because it's been something um, that's been a long, long time wondering. So I've been to the GP um, and my neuro a neurologist has now diagnosed me with vestibular migraine syndrome, which is where the thumping is coming from. And the it's kind of putting the pressure near the vessels and the photosensitive phobia. So photophobia, it's called. Um, is where this high sensitivity to hearing, um, so the hearing is actually resulting in the migraine getting worse. So things like high intensity, high laugh, high voices, um, not that anybody screams, but any pitch, high pitch, the TV, the sound of the TV might have to go down, um, the kitchen, you know, little things like a dishwasher going on. Um, very, um, very, um, much the reason why my hair has been back a lot and um, it hasn't been down it hasn't been curled because after i wash it and brush it and um, it's really hard to um it feels like when i'm drying it i'm kind of um pulling it if you know what i mean i'm not but it's my my kind of head is reacting to even that sensitivity so i do have a, a hair appointment on the fifth i've always put it back or put this band on for a reason because otherwise it's going to be you know it's going to be frizzy and i don't really i'm very self-conscious about that so um, yes, that's what I have been di diagnosed with. And I think it's caused a lot of anxiety for me, particularly in my jobs. So um, support work has been a little bit of an issue because it's not their fault if they make certain sounds. It isn't anything to do with them as a person. Um, it's something that they have, um, you know, been diagnosed with themselves. So um, I've cut back on my hours as a support worker. And obviously in Energy Kids, I have a little bit more control as the manager in terms of what the children can be doing so a lot of time they may be outside they like being outside they might be at forest school and it gives me time to do paperwork and kind of um i'm taking codeine at the minute so codeine and so the codeine is for the pain and the um neurofin is for the inflamed um part but i have received a letter this morning suggesting stronger medication so that's something i'll think about so that was just a little bit why um i haven't been on so today i have taken medication in the morning i'm feeling okay and um, so i thought i'd do a quick get ready with you um, and I hope everyone's re Revan's really excited for Christmas, but that's something that I have um, been diagnosed with um, and it does make sense. It really does. Um, it's something that I'm not surprised about, but I'm also, even though it's very, very difficult to um, live with, it really is. It's a struggle every day. Um, in a way, I'm quite glad that it has been diagnosed, that there is something there um, because it's quite frightening. Um, you know, when I wasn't diagnosed, there was a day where and I've never woken up with it, but I woke up um, and obviously you get up and you lift your head, you lift your body. And it felt like I was lifting a brick or lifting something. And so I, I went, oh, my goodness. And the pain had started and it only left at half eight that night. So that's when I knew, OK, I know I've been to the doctor, but I need to kind of get this. I need them to take it. Not that they weren't taking it seriously, because when you go into a doctor's and you say maybe you guys have been in the same position, and you say, I've had a migraine. And they're like, okay, so you've had a headache. And it's not that they don't take you seriously, but they sometimes think, why is she coming with just a headache? But, you know, the fact that they took it a little bit seriously when um, I mentioned that obviously you do get dizzy because you're trying, the whole, the whole time you're trying to kind of focus on managing your movement. Because if you have a pain in your arm, you can walk. If you have a pain 
say you've pain in your shoulder, you can walk with your head. It controls everything. It controls movement. It controls that, you know, how you talk. It controls everything. So I think when I told them the extent of what was happening in my life and how debilitating it was, I was then sent to a neurologist who then did an MRI, who then saw that I was having vestibular, vestibular migraine syndrome along with photophobia, which is um, extreme reactions to sound. So I realised, guys, I haven't been on my Instagram and I always pop it down below and I realise I haven't been on my Facebook and things like that. And I will make a huge, a huge kind of effort with that because I was on it daily. I was, you know, I was um, and I, I am still doing um, the majority of things I'm able to do. But a lot of the time, even taking a photo, and that sounds so silly, you know, doing a video. I'm working with you guys. We're doing things here. Um, making sure that I have lighting and everything for Instagram um, is something I, I need to kind of um, work on because it's a lot of effort for me and it's not in any way um, me being lazy at all. It's just trying to manage everything and then obviously doing my um, Facebook as well. Um, I will start that too, but that has been the reason. Um, so let's get back. So what I'm going to do today is I'm trying to use my, like, you know, use my stash instead of keep on um, buying new foundations and I know I had reviewed this and I haven't been quite impressed but I do want to use it I do want to give it a good chance and um, we still had that hot weather I think when I um, when I had reviewed it and I think that's something similar that happened with the Fuera foundation if you remember I did a, a I think it was when I was in the cottage in Bladebone um, I did a review on was it the Fuera foundation um, and I, I, I did my review from half eight in the morning right up to six o'clock um, that evening and it had melted throughout the day. I will put that review below. But then I did another video towards the um, autumn winter um, and it actually, for whatever reason, it did stay on the face better. And that's something I'm finding with this It Cosmetics. So this is the It Cosmetics and it is their Your Skin But Better foundation. And I'm in water, water light medium. So that's what I'm in. So I'm just going to pop this on. Because as I said before, it was something I wasn't quite sure about. Um, but I have I have been looking at my foundations and I have been tempted. It's coming up to Christmas, I want to look amazing. Um, you know, obviously I'm having I'm feeling like I have to put in the extra effort. I'm making an effort with my hair, I'm getting somebody else to do it because and I have explained what <laughs> what's going on um with my head and stuff, and so they are gonna be kind of extra careful. So I am just getting it. Um, as you can see, the blonde is still there a little bit. Um, so they're just going to colour it and then maybe do a bit of a trim. And so I'm hoping that's OK. And I will take my medication. So I will be hopefully OK for them brushing my hair and things like that and cutting it just so that I have, um, you know, I feel a bit more confident coming towards Christmas. So this is my um, ultimate blending and this is from e.l.f. So I'm just going to use that and we're just going to dot that around. And... I have just been finding the It Cosmetics stays, it stays on and whatever reason, it's, it reacts better to the autumn winter um, weather than to the, um, than to the um, summer kind of heat. And that's what happened with Fuera. If you remember, I tried it again, maybe I think in the winter time and it did stay on a little bit more and the colour tone adapted to my skin too. So um Yes, it's so hard, especially with COVID. I have found that I have to colour match online um, and not just for me, for my clients. Um, and I was it's really, really hard to I mean, all of the cult beauty, I think all of the majority of makeup websites have a option um, will we you can do a colour make a colour match online. Um, and so you put a picture of yourself with no makeup and they kind of, um, you know, they say finding your match now and they won't just bring up one. Um, brands they'll bring up all the brands and so you kind of choose them they kind of choose for you what they think based on your photo what the best match is for you so at the time I was matched with this and um, and I'm finding that you know as the winter as the winter comes in and um, it's starting to kind of um, match a bit more to my skin tone there's no kind of um, difference here it's always really important to look at your neck um, as well when you're putting on the foundation as I got a phone call so I'm back <laughs> but yes it's always kind of a good um a good thing to look at your neck when you're putting anything on in terms of foundation because the match is really important so now I'm just going to use my elf hydrating concealer um, and it's really good I really like it I like the formula um 
it's available obviously on the elf website um but it's also available on amazon i found and it's also available on look fantastic um but the elf website and i don't know how they do this but they often the elf website i think is the best value for money but i found on amazon and i found on um, other websites they're actually it's actually more expensive so i don't know how they do that and um, but the elf website sometimes you look at elf and it might or any other website like mac or anything um and the actual makeup will be more exp expensive um other places so that's something i realized with elf so um you can get it other places but i get it directly from the website um and they usually have next day delivery so i'm just popping that under my eyes into oh i always i also was asked um to just to show the shape tape again that i got in primark so i'm not going to use it today but if you want me to in terms of a tutorial i will so this is what it looks like you can basically do it for con for contouring too so you take some of this tape off you pop it look at your the, the um small of your eye there you bring it right up so that you're not going to go out of that shape um, it's perfect for beginners but if you're a makeup artist and you need everything to be precise i tend to use this you can also then just go under the cheekbone and put it there too so when you're putting on the makeup it looks really defined and perfect and then it comes off really easily and what i found is it doesn't take off foundation which is really really good as well so that's something if you do need me to put or you would like me to do a um review or a video on that i will so this is what this looks like now it is coming off a little bit darker on screen but the concealer actually does is a really good match to me so now i'm just going to use that same brush um, and this again is the elf brush and I'm just going to dab that in here I'm having a really good week with my skin which is quite unusual but I'm not complaining I'm going to go under the lid there the brows okay so I'm looking off camera slightly it's just because of the mirror let me see if I can move it slightly there okay so that should be a bit better okay so we're just going to rub that in so i've got a couple of mascaras today um this one i was sent oh, this is the work the hype from nick from um nyx but um the one i was sent was um the elf um volume plumping mascara that was one i didn't buy but i was sent by elf so i'm just looking around so because my skin is looking a little bit dull and I have been kind of very aware of how, how I've been looking lately, um, I am going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury and this is their Flawless Filter. So you can, if you've got really good skin, use it on its own. But if you'd like your, your after your foundation and concealer, you'd like to get a little bit more alive, a little bit more glowy, um, you can pop this on. Again, I was um, I got this on um, Cult Beauty and I was colour matched as well. And this is in 3 Fair, so they are numbered. So we're just, and you might notice it looks a little bit darker, but it does, it does actually, there's kind of a goldish tint to it. It does, um, the thing I love about it is it doesn't um, affect or um, your foundation underneath, which is what I was worried about. So I kind of just put it in places where I want to look a little bit more glowy um, bit here. And we're just going to, again, we can use our brush. Um, I'm finding a brush is much easier lately. Um, you can use a blender if you want to, but I've been finding brushes um don't take off as much as the um dampened brush does or dampened blender a dampened blender actually can take off a lot and soak up a lot of the makeup um and you can see just this... one moment guys sorry i'm getting a call hi guys sorry about that i just had a call um so yes yeah, so we've put that on now and i just feel like it just gives myself a little bit of a glow um and i don't feel so self-conscious if i'm having like a a dull day with my skin so what we've just put on is the flawless filter and um, it's available on the charlotte tilbury website but i got it from cult beauty so what we're going to do now just to give that warmth is the um the bronzer which i'm using the glow by huda beauty and mine is in soft radiance tan light number three and um, so i'm just going to get my brush here too um i've got my little overnight from my support work bag here um i take little bits and pieces that i need um, so let me look here. So I've got my e.l.f. and this is just the um, all over brush that you can use. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and it is a little bit lighter, but I like that because you can kind of work with it. Um, 
it's not the best I've ever used and um, it is good but there, there are other ones that you can kind of um you can kind of use it doesn't have to be this in particular so I'm going to start here and just look really natural so where the um sun would naturally hit your face we're doing a bronze today we're not going to do a contour and then what I do if I find that it's a little bit strong I, I just kind of brush over it with a powder brush and it just brings it down and I can see in the in the mirror here it is down bringing it bringing the color down but I'm see it's coming off a little bit stronger on camera but um there you go I can still see even though I've put on concealer I'm not looking the best today but um do forgive me for that but um it is kind of by the title of the video also kind of just saying what's happening at the minute and these things do tend to show <laughs> on your face so I do apologize for that so we're just going to go then I'm not even though it's not a contour I'm kind of still to bring it back down gently just to give myself a little bit of a to make the face look a little bit um thinner so we're going to just use that on this side of the brush and all I'm doing really is gently actually swiping it up gently so I'm starting from where you would actually um stop the brush I'm starting from there to prevent anything falling down so we're just going up like that but it's going to be super light because we're not looking for that exact tone and you can see it's actually highlighted the the um the filter um so it does actually show really well it's highlighted where the filter is it almost looks like a highlight itself so i'm going to do that on the other side and again if you feel like it's it's too strong you can always always um brush it away with a clean powder brush which is what i do and you can see there on that side as well. So what I'm going to do is keep my head this way because I think it's looking a bit more chunky than it actually is. And then, and then I'm just kind of brushing it lightly. And then when I turn, I can see the same is on each. It looks exactly the same, which is what you're looking for. Um, so what we're going to do with our blush today is I'm actually going into my Laura Geller Baked Full Face Basics. It's called the best of the best. Now I got this on a discount when it first came out on QVC. Um, and I'm not sure, I think it is available on Laura, um, Laura Geller um, for 42 I got it for 32 um, and on QVC I think it's 53 So I will look at the prices for you, I will definitely link it below. Um, I actually in fact on my Laura Geller review, which I will link below too, in that description I have where you can get it as well. Um, I did, the day I got it I did a review, but unfortunately QVC, where I got it for £30, it had sold out completely. But let's have a look at that. Um, so it's the blush I'm going to be using today. And the blush is called... Um, it's called Baked Blush and Bronzer Butter Cream. So that's what that looks like. And it's beautiful. And I think for all skin types, this would be lovely. Um, and Laura Geller does make a point of saying that because she, she did the review with QVC. Um, she does make a point of saying that all of these colours suit any ethnicity, which I really like. So we're going to use, um, which brush will we use for this? My um, Real Technique, Techniques Blush Brush. Um, and I'm going to just take some of that on the brush itself. And it's a, it's a really nice blend. And you can see you don't need a lot. So that's what it looks like. Let me do a little swatch for you. So this is Buttercup. So that's what it looks like. So you can see, you could certainly go heavier if you wanted to. I've just gone for a little bit of a light look today because I don't want anything to take over. Um, but if you wanted to just get this and not have an, a separate um, bronzer like this one, what you can do is just get the whole thing in one, bar your foundation, obviously, and your, and your mascara. So you do have your bronzer, you do have your blush, you have your eyeshadows and you have your highlighters. So this is a great little thing to get on the go. You don't have to get loads and loads of individuals. Um, it is just the bit, look at the mirror. You have a gorgeous mirror too, um, and it's just perfect for on the go. It would also be really good for a gift as well. So that's that. Um, now what I wanted to show you today was I'm going. I am working today, so I'm not going to go too crazy. But this is the Too Faced Teddy Bear Palette. It's really small. I have done a review too. I was I wasn't I was expecting it to be small, but I wasn't expecting it to be this small. But maybe they're just reducing their packaging, things like that. Their names aren't on the um, front under the under the eyeshadows. They're actually on the back like this. And I have done a review which I will put down as well. Um, and the, the just the I love the um. The little teddy there too so it's quite cute again a lovely little present for somebody that absolutely loves makeup um so as well as the charlotte tilbury i think this would be lovely for somebody too of all ages so this is 
Now there is a smell, a gorgeous smell. I don't know if it's chocolate or vanilla or so it smells gorgeous. Again, you've got your huge mirror, so that's them today. You do have a cram, you almost have like a cranberry side and like a bronzy brown side. And um, these are, I thought they were blushes, but they're actually um, eyeshadows as well. So if I just show you there. So yes, it looks like they've set, they've actually set the um, palette into two. Maybe it wasn't inten intentionally, but I can see you get a cranberry look with some golds here and you get your kind of soft or strong and um, brown smoky eye there. So today I'm going to do a little bit lighter, um, but I'm going to start with a nice um, kind of bright vanilla colour right here. So we're going to do that on the lid. And I'm actually going to place this on with my finger. And you can see it just instantly brightens the eye. So if I just turn to the back to show you, this is called Bear It All. <laughs> so that's this one here. Okay, so you can see it just even that with mascara, if you're on the go, dropping the kids off to school, anything really, you don't have enough time. Um, it just wakens you up a bit um, if you haven't had a good night's sleep. But it also starts to enhance everything on this side of my face. If you look, it starts to enhance the blush and the, the kind of um, bronze we've put on. Um, but it, So it doesn't overtake anything. So we're just going to put a little bit more on the edge. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. I find that sometimes certain eyeshadows are better applied with your finger. You're also then not getting it into places that you maybe not, you didn't intend to. Sometimes brushes or the eyeshadows can have some fallout. Um, but these are great. So you can see that there. So what I'm going to then just go above the, the lid with is a lighter brown. Okay, so that's really showing up now, which is what I wanted. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go in with the lightest brown they have, which is this, and it almost looks like a mustardy colour. And this is pot, pot of honey, is what this one is. So we're going to put it in, but I am going to use a brush for that. So let's look at the brushes today. I brought them all in. And it's going to be more of a blender brush because we don't want it too strong. I don't want it to come off too strong. So this is the um, Leopard Cat brush from um, uh, the Bella and Bear set. So we're going to go in with that. And we're just going to um, lightly. And again, as I said before, this has a full length mirror, which is great. Um, bring this in. It's showing there you can see it. it's just I'm doing really light movements I'm not bringing it in right in as you can see because I want that white to show to make the eye pop now you could use liner you could make it you could use a huge lashes and you could um, darken this up with something like um, you've got this gorgeous cranberry which is called um, fuzzy wuzzy <laughs> so yes interesting uh, names so we're again just popping this in like that and it just gives that gorgeous um, awake eye but it, it looks like you've really um, you're really awake but you've made that effort you you kind of shapes your eye as well so what you could do with that if you were a little bit unsure you could put your your um, tape there and then take it off gently and it doesn't take anything away which is what I like this is from Primark and if you will if you looked at my video when I went in and I did a whole um, come around Primark on a new look with me which I will link below this was a pound in Primark so yes amazing amazing it doesn't irritate the skin it's really soft um, and that's why I like it so we've got a couple of mascaras to choose from today so that's what that looks like if I look down this side obviously a little bit of a darkness here but if I look down here that's what it looks like on both sides so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to do my brows and this is something that I'm working on. I'm using stropping my stash and this is um, Max Cinnamon Pencil. So let's just, tw it's a twist up. So we're just going to twist that up and we're just going to start where our brows begin. And if there's anything you need to fill in, you can 
gently do that i then do spray this with what i do wax and then spray it because obviously when you're looking at a pencil if you're in and out of weather it's going to obviously it could kind of melt or look um uneven particularly if you've put it in places where you you, you have very sparse brows so yes i'm looking forward to getting my hair done because i've been brushing it i've been gently brushing it um, I've been making sure it's washed, things like that. But in terms of really getting it, kind of pulling it to straighten it and to blow dry it, I've been really struggling with that. So I've definitely been hygienic. It's nothing like that. Um, but I certainly have struggled um, with doing the other sides of it. So I have got an appointment. Um, so yes, yeah, so you might have just realised that. Or maybe now it makes sense as to why I haven't had my hair completely done. So I've got a couple of mascaras today. Um, the one I wanted to show you, but I won't use, is um, the NYX um, Worth the Hype, which it is really, really nice. But if you come out into into rain, um, it comes off all the way down. Just something that I've noticed. Um, it really does. It, it just um, It's not washproof at all, even though it does say it is. I've just found, and I love NYX, don't get me wrong, I love the, the um, this is um, Without You, it says on the bottom. Um, so yes, it does say waterproof. For me, I just found obviously going in and out of weather, I do have a lot of things to do during the day in my job um, and it did it did come down the face slightly. So the other two I have are the um, Big Mood Mascara, which I did buy from the e.l.f. website, but I got this free and this is the e.l.f. Um, Volume Plumping Mascara. So that's the one we're going to use today. Um, I love the shape of the brush too, so if I just open it there for you. There we go. I'll just show you. I like that it's kind of a thin brush. You don't get too much product. Take your time to just take it off. And I'll just show you the, that's what the brush looks like there. Oh, let's just take that off. Okay, so we're just gonna, what I'll do is I'll put the mascara on because you don't have to see me put mascara on and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I've put my mascara on now um, and now I just wanted to show you, and I think I have showed you before, this is the e.l.f. Day to Night. I also got their, um, elf and it's beautiful um hydrating core shine lip shine um and i got mine in radiant um and it does have i just wanted to show you there's obviously they've got a lot of different various colors but it does have that heart if you see the heart shape and the heart shape is actually the gloss the lip gloss and then you've got the color of the lipstick itself around that that's a beautiful color i will swatch it for you i'm not going to be using it today but it's a really really nice color um, and it depends on the amount of pressure you put on in terms of the amount of depth you get. So that's what that looks like. It's, and it's so soft, really, really soft, not drying. Um, so I would highly recommend those two. The e.l.f. website, I think, are e.l.f. itself, I think, are very underrated. I think they're one of the best affordable brands. Um, I know we've got a lot of um, kind of huge... Um, you know, very popular um, makeup artists coming out with various things and maybe some people feel pressure to get those high ends and um, which you can. I mean, I would call um, Urban Too Faced in between. I wouldn't say it's hugely expensive. And um, this was 28 for me. And I mean, for Too Faced, that's really good. It's a small palette too, but um, you get the full length mirror. I think there's a lot of good things to be said. And um, I do think there's a couple of um, other um, bronzers that would be just as good as the Huda Beauty Glow Wish. Um, I know everyone wanted to try it. I liked it because it said that it was um, kind of, you could build, but it's a buildable one, which it is. Um, but I think again, nothing wrong with it, but there are certainly other um, brands out there. The one thing I would say that even though it's a higher brand, I would absolutely recommend two reasons. One, because um, it's actually baked, it's marble baked. Um, it's it's for six months before you even get it this quality is amazing this particular one if you've never tried which it was me i'd never tried um laura geller before but um i thought it was a good deal for money if you haven't tried them before and you don't want to individually get every single one they have bar foundation and obviously other things like mascara they have everything so you've got your bronzer and some people actually use that i've, I've watched qvc and they've used this part here as a as a blush um so but you've got everything you've got your eyeshadows there you've got your blush you've got your highlight and you've got your bronzer and um, or you could use it as a contour so if you're someone like me who's never used um you've known laura Geller, you've heard of her but you've never used a product um, and you want to kind of invest a little bit of money, but get all of these items. So you get a blush, you get a bronzer, you get eyeshadow and you get two highlights. I mean, that's a lot for £32. I will again link below 
um, her site, her website. I think you, you get it for 40, but QVC were selling it for. After that deal for 32 ended, they went back and started to charge 44 for it. So I would go to, I would highly recommend going to Laura Geller for this. QVC can be great, but you have to get there really, really quickly or else the deal goes. So um, yes, Laura Geller, I would, that would be the high end I would really, really invest in for yourself. Um, I really would. So yes, so let's go on to the day tonight. I think I've shown it once before. There are various colours you can get in this. Um, I got um, the best of berries. So this is the best of berries here. And we have um, this one actually, I found that quite unusual. This one has a description of what the what its name does and this one doesn't. So um, I will show it to you. Um, but this is the night one and it's a little bit darker and that's that one there too. So I'll be using the best of fairies today. Um, and again, it's elf. So let's go in. This will be the end of the video now, guys. I always say I'll try to keep it short for you guys, but it tends to go a little bit longer. So I found because I don't really need um, liner for this, it does stay on quite good. It's quite well. So it does have that pointed tip too. So you can get, you can kind of get um, the shape, the, the kind of tougher places in, in terms of putting on lipstick. So let's just bring that closer and we'll put that on now. So you can see it's just that little bit darker, but it's really, really nice for daytime. You could certainly use it for nighttime too. Um, the smell is beautiful. There's a vanilla smell from it too. And it's really soft and moisturizing. Lovely. Okay, so that's today's look. Um, really, really nice and moisturizing. And um, what we're going to do is set it today. Um, and I'm just shopping my stash. I did have the NYX. Um, I've run out of NYX, but I had bought this around the same time. This is the MAC Fix Magic Radiance. Um, it's got vitamin C um, and it's all day hydration spray. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake. That's the setting today, setting spray. And it does have a lock as well. So if you have it in your bag or you carry it around, um, it does have a lock as well, safety lock. So we're just going to give that a bit of a shake. Okay, I'm just going to let that, let that dry. And that's it today, guys. So yes, that was kind of what's happening at the minute. Um, so um, I will try to go on as much as I can. Um, I do have some videos that have been requested coming up so they will be up shortly and um, and I will really make an effort with the um, Instagram and the um, Facebook as well because it's something I really enjoy I really um, love doing it and it does um, frustrate me when I can't do that um, kind of in energy wise and things like that so that will be something that will continue to happen as of next week and um, I do hope you're all keeping safe I know the new variant is kind of stressful for everybody um, and I'm hoping that my family can make it over um, to the UK from Ireland and America um, but again I really do um, hope everyone is keeping safe leave any comments below if you would like any any reviews um, and also what you think of these products today I hope you have a great week guys and I'll see you soon